Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how we can implement a medium and large app bar. This was one of the updates from the latest Flutter 3.3 version, where they made changes to the Material Design 3. By the way, you should check out the Flutter pod where we discuss all of these new changes in a bit more detail, and so I'll link that below. But like I said, we got some new aesthetics in the Material Design 3, so the icon buttons, some new chips, but the one I actually wanted to show you guys is the medium and large app bar. So let me show you how to do this by jumping into the code. So I've opened up a brand new Flutter project and just to keep us all on the same page, in my main function, I'm running my app, which gives us this home page. And this is just a blank scaffold. So we should just have a white blank app like this. Now, the first thing is if you want to use the Material Design 3, which is the latest update, you have to go to the theme here in your material app and we're going to have to specify this here material 3 and let's say true so if you don't see this option then you have to upgrade your flutter to 3.3 but once this is set let's just save it and if we go to the home page we can go to the body and we're going to use a custom scroll view so what, one thing I noticed is medium app bar and large app bar. It's actually an extension off of the sliver app bar, which I've used a lot in my previous videos. And so this is actually the same as a sliver app bar, if you know what that is. But if you don't, I can just show you how to do that real quick. So usually we would specify an app bar here, like the traditional app bar. But instead, we want to have a custom scroll view. And we're going to use some sliver app bar. And so usually we can use a sliver app bar like this, but now we have this medium and large option. So let's just go with the large one and let's specify some things in here. So the leading, we can put in an icon button. And so on pressed, but now let's just execute nothing. And for the icon, let's say icons.menu. And for the title, let's say large app bar. And let's put in one more thing for the action. So this is going to be the button on the right hand side. Again, I'm just going to execute nothing for now. And let's put in, say, more vert. Cool. So here it is. Now you can see if you scroll up, it'll be like a normal app bar and then we can kind of bring it down. And so this is the large app bar. And if I just change this to medium, it's actually so super similar, but it's just a little bit smaller. So you can actually specify like just using a sliver app bar and then you can like change these expanded heights and things like this. But in this new update, they have a nice and convenient medium and large app bar. And so the way to use this is once you have the once you have the app bar at the top below this in the custom scroll view you can have the rest of your elements so i'll just show you real quick rest of the ui we have to use a sliver box adapter and in here you can put in anything so i'm going to say for example a height of 400 and this is just a container so here you can put in other things that you can scroll be below it and the last thing i just want to show you is you can obviously go to these individual app bars and change the color of the entire app bar but it might be good practice if you have multiple screens to actually specify it in the theme in the theme data so we could say there's an app bar theme. So this can just change it for your whole entire app. Okay, so I could say background color and do it like this way. So this way, if you have other screens involving um, these app bars on multiple screens, then you can just use this to, to specify it across your entire app. And that's it. So that was just a nice and easy tutorial. So I'm just probably going to go through all of the Material Design 3 updates. So I went through Scribble in the last video. 
In this one, we went through the app bar, and so I might look at some of the other material design three, like the chips and the new aesthetic icons and things like that. So if there's anything that you guys want me to go through, just let me know below. And also remember to check out the Flutter pod where we just discuss all of these changes in like an hour long conversation. So I'll link that below as well. But yeah, other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.